The legalization of marijuana is picking up steam across the country, but in El Paso County, Colorado, some law enforcement claim legalizing pot has opened the door to organized crime and cartels. Sinclair's Yami Virhan has tonight's Spotlight on America. It's known as Olympic City, USA, just 70 miles south of Denver, Colorado Springs in El Paso County is also known as the epicenter of the fight against illegal marijuana grow houses. It is dangerous. We've seen an uptick in criminal activity, violent criminal activity. Sheriff Bill Elder has taken a strong stance against marijuana crimes and executes the highest number of warrants in the state of Colorado. This is not your dad's marijuana. This is not ditch weed. This is highly potent, technically grown marijuana. Elder has put his life at risk going after organized crime that he says has invaded his county since the legalization of medical marijuana here back in 2000. I am not making people happy. That's my job. He says that some of the criminal groups he's targeting are from the countries of Laos, Mexico, and Cuba, all of whom are growing vast quantities of weed in his county that's then trafficked to black markets elsewhere. It's not organized crime like you like you picture, you know, the mafioso of years ago, but they are organized. The sheriff tells us that the Cubans in particular have shown they will do anything to protect their product. The Cubans are pretty territorial. They, they own the area and, and most people know it. And the competition between the different Cuban illegal grow houses can be deadly, in part because of what the sheriff calls rip crews. A rip crew is a group of group of Cubans that they put together. They they will go out and target specific grows nearing uh, harvest time and they will break in, tie them up, forcibly take their product typically will take um, everything that's growing there. Just up the highway, District Attorney George Brockler has also seen and prosecuted some of the crime being committed by the new criminal organizations. Most of the violence that we've seen has been visited upon each other, either in a drug rip or other folks, but it doesn't mean that the risk isn't there for law enforcement. Brockler says marijuana is treated here like gold. Nobody treats this like it's just um, any other product. They treat it like it's gold and they're willing to trade your life for it or their own if need be. And that leads to an increase in violence almost everywhere. A disturbing and dangerous byproduct of legal marijuana taking root in the nation's heartland. For Spotlight on America, I'm Jamie Virgin. Now this is the kind of shit that really pisses me off because it makes it seem like it shows how much respect the media has for you. Um, and I'll talk about that in just a second. My name's Mike. This is my YouTube page, Mox News. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you're finding something of value here. I truly do. Uh, for those of you that are new, there are more than 9,300 videos on this one Mox News YouTube page. So please, uh, each and every video hand-selected by myself to be worthy of your viewing time. So please take a moment and uh, have a good look around. Now, that being said, this is just the worst kind of, of propaganda and I'll tell you why because they act like you are idiots and I'm so tired of the local news getting behind this local I mean you need to serve the people in your community the people in your community Como News Washington State want marijuana legal so stop with the negative police state propaganda because it's incredibly disappointing pointing that you don't serve the people of your community better than this reefer madness propaganda drug war police state nanny state garbage okay now that being said let me explain why this is such a mind fuck of propaganda they say oh ever since and this this guy this guy is just this cop is just the worst kind of you know they don't want to give up their drug war money you know they don't want to give up their boot, their jack booted foot on the, on the neck of the citizens that they serve who simply want to be able to use the safest drug there is by the way the community this guy serves these people are complaining if you listen to what they say closely they're complaining about medical marijuana being legal okay they don't want 
little babies that have 300 seizures a week to get the safest drug there is that actually works to keep them from having the seizures. They're happy to give them all this chemical garbage that gives them no life at all, makes them into a complete and utter zombie, when they could give them this herb, this gift from God, from Mother Nature, as Mother Nature intended. Here is the medicine you you need. It's so simple. You can grow it at home for your child. No one will ever be able to take it from you. And yet, these people, these cops, and the media who serves the police nanny state doesn't understand. They say, oh, there's this evil thing going on where they legalize medical marijuana as medicine, and then these criminals do these evil things because marijuana is legal. No, that is not the reason that they do it. They don't do it because it's legal. They do it because in the surrounding states, outside Colorado, marijuana is illegal. So these people can go and grab 20 pounds of weed and go sell it in the surrounding states where people in the police state I don't know. Are morons? They don't. They don't. They they think freedom is a bad thing. You know. They they prefer the police state, the nanny state, babysitting adults over over freedom. Is that the way I want to understand why marijuana isn't legal in all the surrounding states? Because it's not that marijuana is legal in this community and that makes all this crime. It's that marijuana is illegal in the surrounding communities. And which means that there's a giant uh, thriving black market because the demand for marijuana is overwhelming. People want this. People need it. It's medicine that allows them to survive this crazy, insane world where they have to work their asses off so that they can pay the rent. Just survive, okay? And, and try and keep a smile on their face and a song in their heart. And weed helps that a lot. So, and that's what they don't want. And it also helps to join people together. It connects us to the earth. It connects us to the higher spirit. I've always said it's the sacrament. It connects us to each other. It connects us to the earth. It connects us to the higher spirit. And the only reason that it's dangerous in any way is because it's illegal which creates the black market, which puts it in the hands of criminals who don't care if they sell it to 12-year-olds or 10-year-olds or whatever, which is not a big deal. It needs to be completely decriminalized. There should be no laws on it at all. Anyone can grow it and go down to the farmer's market in their community and sell it. That would be the best thing. Freedom for the people on this thing that's completely safe and Mother Nature. 100% Mother Nature. But no. We have to, we love our police so much. If you love your police and the drug war, and the drug war, save a cop's life. It's that simple. If you really love your police, then you'll recognize that them going after loser drug users, which is, I'm sure, how you see it, you know, is completely worthless for them to lose their lives over. And the drug war, save a cop's life. Okay, if you really love your cops, you really love your police so much, and the fucking failed drug war, because you will never end, you will never win the failed drug war. It can't be won, okay? You know why? Because I am top of the food chain. I decide what I enjoy putting in my body. Okay, and you know what else? Humans don't like being told what to do. Okay, 
uh, which reminds me of this song. Fuck you, I won't do what you told me. Fuck you, I won't do what you told me. That's how people respond to, to over-intrusive uh, babysitters. Okay? We don't need that. We're top of the food chain. We're the big brain top of the food chain, which is extincting every, every other species on the planet. Because we're so smart. Uh, okay, so, and, and don't let them treat you like you need to be babysat, okay? And don't let them get away with this mindfuck propaganda like you're stupid and you don't know what's going on. And you people at the local news in communities where that have chosen to legalize marijuana need to stop with the bullshit propaganda. Okay, we put up with your reefer madness propaganda bullshit for generations and generations. And it's and it's it doesn't work. You're not helping. You make things worse. You're only supporting the police state. Help people get their freedom back. Fight for their freedom with the people instead of this police state bullshit otherwise otherwise people should not listen anymore okay they just shouldn't you should go out of business because you can't actually serve the community that you're that you're there to serve you're 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 trying to take away their freedom. Do you hear what they're saying with this kind of shit? They're trying to say, oh, we have to reel that legalization back in. It's just not working out. That's what they're saying. But that's not the, the real thing is that it's not actually legal. It's that it, all these other places, it's not legal. So you still have the black market thriving just as big as ever. Okay, that's what's happening. And don't let them mind fuck you with this propaganda. Okay, that's all I got to say about that. Thanks so much for tuning in. My name's Mike. This is my YouTube page, Mox News. There's over 9,300 videos on this one Mox News YouTube page. Every single one hand selected by myself to be worthy of your viewing time. It takes a great deal of time and effort to do that. Uh, it'd be really nice if you could give something back. Mox News survives solely on contributions from good people like yourself. All you stoners, I've been doing this for 15 years. When I started, marijuana was not legal. Okay? Now it is. I posted, I posted so many news videos about legalization. I used to call Sanjay Gupta pill shill doctor, in quotes, Sanjay Gupta says, Mar reefer madness propaganda for years and then you know what happened all of a sudden Sanjay Gupta came out and said I apologize for spreading reefer madness propaganda for years I was wrong you don't think I had something to do with that <laughs> you ain't paying attention so that's what I do please give something back Okay? Otherwise, I'm not going to make it. I've always said, I will serve this community as long as I have the support of this community. I will always be here fighting for your freedom. Oh, you stoners. I don't know how. I don't have 50, 50 subscribers that are fucking stoners. I don't get it. Ah, anyways, thanks for tuning in. My name is Mike. It's easy to get something back at moxnews.com or there's clickable links in the text body of this video. Stay cool one of these days. This drug war is going to end. It's got to end because it's completely failed us. There's no reason at all to continue this nanny state bullshit. It doesn't work. Fuck you, I won't do what you told me. Fuck you, I won't do what you told me. Understand? Do you know what it is that I am saying?